Kyuga eyes, wood release. These two combined will make a very, very powerful Naruto. And who knows, maybe he might like something better than ramen, like Chick-fil-A. This has nothing to do with Naruto, I just really, really like Chick-fil-A. Anyways, yeah, soldiers, it's a board game, it's going to be another video. And this is with Naruto's half Hyuga, half Senju part two. The last part did pretty well, so here's part two. You guys already know my social medias if you watched the last part. If you have not, the links out will be in the description. And the social medias themselves should be on screen right now, since Drew is in this video. And also, follow me on Twitch for stream content over there. And donate to my Patreon for some nice rewards. Anyways, in terms of some other stuff, watch my community talk like a hawk for updates on this what if, or just the usual memes and stuff like that in between. And if you want me to read any fanfics, be it Naruto, MHA, DBZ, or something else, comment down the name of the fanfic in the comments below, and I will read it for my channel, potentially. Oh yes, and stay tuned for any content that will be coming out this week. Alright, without further ado, let's get into part 2 of what if Naruto is half Yuga, half Senju. Alright, so first off, it is time for a decision of who will be on Naruto's team. As announced in the last part, Shizune will be Naruto's sensei. In addition to that, I also announced that I will be giving you all the ability to suggest who would be Naruto's teammates in this series. Now, after looking for the comments, it came down to one person, one comment, who gave me a team suggestion that also happened to get the most likes when it came to the team selection thing. And that person was Whiteblade, congratulations, who said that Naruto's teammates should be Shino and Hinata. I honestly have been looking back at my stories and I seem to have a lack of Shino love in my what ifs. Which is weird because I am a huge fan of Shino as a character. This by the way does not include Legacy since I am just reading that fanfic so outside of that, I think I've only put Naruto on the same team as Shino like once or twice. This also ensures that there will be no Hinata ship with Naruto because no Kunoichi ever ends up with their male teammate except for Sakura and Sasuke. Don't blame me, look at Hinata and Kiba. You know, if anyone on her team, and Rin on Team Kakashi. Oh yeah, and Jiraiya with Tsunade, and even Orochimaru with Tsunade. Everyone who has either had a crush on a certain member on their team, or could have had a relationship with someone on their team, has either ended with someone else, or died before they could confess. Now, for the actual ship, I'll go with the comment that got the most support on my last vid when it came to ship question, and that comment was from Soaring Through Realms, who said either Tamari or Karin. Now, I will give you all the option to choose which of these two ships you want. Let me know in the comments below. The comment that gets the most support will be the winner. Anyways, in terms of the actual story, Naruto will be at the Academy and will be shocked to learn that he has been paired up with Shino and Hinata, and that Shizune, his sister, is his sensei. He doesn't necessarily dislike Hinata as she has seemed to be a very nice person and is not the one actively preventing him from learning Hyuga Taijutsu techniques. And Shino is a pretty cool dude so he can vibe with this team. Now the actual test Shizune employs is kind of unknown because she was not a teacher in the original canon. But I think the actual exercise she would employ would be something that would show that they can function as a team or unit. So I'm just going to say it is a self and catch mission where all three have to work together in order to catch her or try to catch her and all three will show enough teamwork to pass, making them full-fledged shinobi. Now, you might be wondering what happened to a couple of characters and those would be Kiba and Kurenai. Let's start with Kiba since it is easy to explain. He is with Kakashi. And yes, Team 7 will still pass because of plot reasons. We can't have Sasuke be stuck in the Academy, so a lot of what happened in Neutral Canon will still happen, except Kiba replaces Naruto. Kuronai will just be a regular Jonin, and nothing will change with her as she'll probably still fall in love with Asuma. Now, the real question is whether or not Asuma dips on his child support payments or not. Guess you're gonna have to watch this series all the way through to find out. Anyway, so now I will actually take this opportunity to ask Naruto about how he has to be Akugan, and his skill with a gentle fist, as Naruto and Hinata never really got close during the academy, and she's always wanted to know how he has to be Akugan. And Naruto explained that he is half Hyuga, and will also explain that even though he has to be Akugan, he cannot use any gentle fist techniques because the Hyuga clan is incredibly petty. Hinata decides to help Naruto with that little issue, and Naruto will actually get some training done, and he will even learn one of the Hyuga techniques Hinata has mastered, which is the furry two palm technique, and a bit of the gentle fist. 
While Hinata is not the most skilled Hyuga in the world, it does end up helping Nar to get a start in a gentle fist, and he'll become very proficient in it by the end of the first month of his ninja journey. Now let's talk about the Land of Waves arc. It does not happen. Well, at least for Naruto. Without Naruto motivating his team to continue, Kakashi will just give Tazuna help by calling upon the Anbu to help him out against enemy ninja like Zabuza and Haku, and will tell him he can give the village an IOU, meaning that the moment the Land of Waves gets back on his feet, the Land of Waves will pay Konoha the money it is owed, and Hiroshi will agree to this entire thing, and eventually Gato will be assassinated and the Land of Waves will be free, though Naruto will not get a bridge named after him. Naruto and his team will meanwhile get their own C rank as they are tasked with dealing with bandits who are causing issues in a minor village in the Land of Fire. As Team Shizune goes on the mission, there is a new revelation they find out on the mission, and that is the fact that the bandits are working with a group of shinobi from an unknown village. Shizune will want to fall back, but Naruto will encourage the team to push forward, and Shizune will say, This is not a mission you can complete. Let's just fall back and send another team to take care of this. But Naruto will say that they can take care of this, as they have trained so hard for the past month, and they should see where they are compared to other shinobi, Plus, he doesn't like the fact this unknown village is purposefully messing with other people's lives like this and wants to teach them a lesson. Shizune decides she cannot fight her brother on this and decides to allow her team to complete this mission. Shizune will face off against the unknown Jonin, and Naruto and Kopin will take care of a bunch of Genin. Naruto and Shino will end up doing a lot of the work, no insult to Hinata as she holds her own against a bunch of Genin, but she does not have the long range techniques to counter 4 plus sound Genin coming at her. She has gotten stronger, but she still needs work. Though, as she takes on a couple of sound Ganyin before getting gained up on, Naruto and Shino will save her, and I will of course thank them. She says, I wish it wasn't so weak to the point where you had to come to rescue me. Naruto will counter saying, You've made a lot of progress in your train and have gotten stronger. Yeah, you couldn't handle these games by yourself, but you just need to acquire a technique that will help you deal with a larger group. If you get that, you'll be unstoppable, and I will help you acquire it. Hinata will thank Naruto and Shino will just say the same thing as well. Now, by the way, I am thinking of a Hinata Shino pairing, though I want you to let me know who you want Hinata to be paired with, excluding Naruto, of course, since we have already established this will not be a Naruhina pairing. Oh, yeah, and question of the day What is a ship that you liked in Naruto that never actually happened? An example would be Jiraiya x Hinata, since Jiraiya croaked before anything happened. Kaka Anko, or something else I am forgetting. Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, Shizune will be facing off against a man named Aoi Rokusho, the filler guy that had that thunder sword. Shizune will have some difficulty dealing with him, and Aoi will go for the kill, but Naruto will knock his sword out of his hands with his wooden pole, and Shizune will use her poison gas technique to take down Aoi, giving her the win. Shizune will congratulate Naruto and company on a job well done, and the Leaf Ninja will question a Ganin they captured who reveals that they are from the Hidden Sound Village. Shizune will ask who their leader is, and the Ganin will say Orochimaru. Hearing this, Shizune will have a spooked look on her face, and Naruto will look really shocked. Naruto has heard of Orochimaru and how bad a man he is, and Shizune definitely knows how bad Orochimaru is as a person. Shizune will make sure to tell Hiruzen and Tsunade about this, and a team will eventually head back to the village. Hiruzen, hearing from Shizune what happened, will vow to keep tabs on the Hidden Sound Village, and Tsunade vows to deal with Orochimaru if he ever steps foot in the village. Two months later, everyone will be getting stronger as Tsunade will start working on the Water Bullet Jutsu. Why? Because Naruto suggested it to her as he got it too. Shino, meanwhile, is starting to like Hinata a bit, but is a bit too busy with his own train. Naruto, though, hearing from Shino about his crush on Hinata, will want to be a wingman for him, and he will vow to help him out. Good guy Naruto, being a great wingman. Naruto, meanwhile, will also get the Stone Bullet Jutsu, and will also get the Water Prison Jutsu. In addition to that, Naruto will also end up working with a man named Yamato, and he will learn the Wood Clone Jutsu as well. Yamato is teaching Naruto at this point because, one, Tsunade wants to see if he can take Naruto's war release to the next level, and two, secretly, it's to make sure that he's safe because Tsunade is worried that Orochimaru could go after Naruto, especially if he knows that he has war release. While Tsunade hopes that this is not the case, 
it is better safe than sorry. Since the last thing Tsunade wants is for Naruto to be kidnapped by Rochimaru due to his young Hyuga Senju body. Anyways, with this, Naruto now can make both Shadow Clones and Wood Clones. Now imagine him saying, would you like all these clones to use BG mode or no? That or all of them create Wood Golems. Whichever option is worse. Now, will Shizune put her team in the tuning exams? Well, yes, because she has seen her team in action. Now, what about Kakashi? I think, yes. He might see his team as developing trust for each other and they're progressing nicely, to the point he's confident that they can take the exams. Asuma, same thing. And Nars is pretty excited for his tuning exams, but Hinata is a bit nervous. Shina will be the one to encourage Hinata this time, saying that she has grown a lot and that she can do well in these exams. Hinata will smile and Naruto will just give Shino a thumbs up because that was smooth. Hey, I gotta give some love to Shino because he is the equivalent of Andrew Luck. Wasted potential due to stuff out of his control. Hey, at least he didn't get injured as often as Luck did. I still hate Ryan Griggs and the Colts for what they did to him. Anyways, Team Shizune will head to the Academy on the day of the tuning exams and will get ready for the toughest test of their lives so far. Now, I'm going to end the vid off here, but trust me, there are going to be some changes coming in this arc, and it mostly has to do with Kiba. I will let you guys guess what those changes will be in the comments below. Thank you for watching part 2 of what Nart was half Yuga half Senju. I hope you liked part 2, I think I did a pretty good job writing it, though you can let me know in the comments below, and in addition to that, Make sure you watch my community topic of Hawk, and if you have any fan books you want me to read, again, suggest those in the comments below as well. Also, follow me on Twitter, AmeStage4, for another way to get notified of my videos. Instagram, Ame underscore stage 4 for memes, and some fun stuff in between. And follow me on my Discord server for access to my community, and again, that will be linked in the description. Shout out to my boy Drew for editing this video. Shout out to my Tower patrons, their names are on the screen, my favorite patron English, and my favorite patron Ashu. If you want to support me further and get worship shouts like these, go to my Patreon, which is linked in the description. And shout out to my boy Whiteblade and Soaring for Realms for their suggestions for my series. We're getting closer to 53k, let's get there. That is all I have to say. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn notifications, and share the video. This has been your boy, the Anime Sage, signing out. Peace. Yot ha, Sunny Shea closes out. Bye bye, place.